Prince Philip's wedding becomes a stage for the tense relationship between Alex and Henry to unfold. The root cause of their discord, as Alex reveals to Nora, lies in his aversion to the media's habit of drawing parallels between him and Henry. Alex is frequently dubbed the American Henry, a comparison that irks him deeply due to his belief that he possesses superior amiability and charm. At the wedding reception, Henry takes the opportunity to offer Alex an etiquette lesson, leading to an inadvertent cake mishap. This trivial annoyance escalates into a physical exchange, causing a lavish cake worth £75,000, in terms of cost, not weight, to cascade onto both of them. This incident swiftly transforms into an international media sensation, with the narrative spun to depict Alex and Henry as vehemently despising each other. The altercation is portrayed as a culmination of their animosity, amplified by the lavish wedding setting. To rectify their relationship, Alex and Henry find themselves compelled to spend an entire weekend in each other's company. During this time, they are required to pose as close friends, showcasing a level of affection that's difficult to put into words. As the weekend progresses and they share more experiences, Alex becomes increasingly taken aback by Henry's actions and demeanor, discovering that Henry is nothing like what he initially anticipated. One particular instance that deeply affects Alex is when he witnesses Henry engaging in a heartfelt and candid conversation with a young girl who is battling cancer. This interaction leaves a significant impression on Alex, highlighting the compassionate and kind-hearted nature of Henry. Before Alex can address this newfound understanding with Henry, a sudden loud noise, akin to gunshots, disrupts the scene, prompting security personnel to swiftly usher them into a nearby storage closet for safety. From their initial encounter, Alex had harbored a negative opinion of Henry due to a somewhat impolite interaction. This incident occurred on a day that was pivotal for Alex, as it marked his first public appearance. Consequently, he has been particularly sensitive about the memory ever since. In a candid moment, Henry apologizes to Alex for his behavior and opens up about the reasons behind his actions. Henry reveals that during the period when he had been distant and abrasive, he was grappling with the recent loss of his father. This revelation adds a layer of understanding to Henry's actions, helping Alex see the context behind his behavior. With this newfound clarity and insight, Alex and Henry manage to resolve their differences and bury their grievances. Their weekend together not only bridges the gap between them but also paves the way for a genuine and authentic friendship to blossom. Subsequent to that point, several months are characterized by extensive text communication between Alex and Henry. During this period, Henry opts for more vibrant emojis rather than humorous remarks. The narrative shifts to the annual New Year's Eve gathering hosted by Alex, June, and their close friend Nora, whose grandfather holds the position of vice president. In attendance is Henry, accompanied by his best friend Pez, who harbors affection for June. The event is marked by a collective sense of enjoyment and camaraderie. However, a notable shift occurs when, at the stroke of midnight, Henry observes Alex and Nora sharing a kiss. This sight sparks feelings of jealousy within him, prompting his abrupt departure from the festivities. Alex locates Henry in the garden, where an unexpected moment unfolds as Henry leans in and kisses him, marking their first intimate interaction. This encounter triggers a profound internal struggle within Alex, specifically concerning his sexual identity. The impact of the kiss lingers in his thoughts, leading him to grapple with a growing crisis of understanding and accepting his own identity. Although Alex has engaged in a sexual relationship with his former high school companion Liam and experienced attraction towards men, he has never acknowledged or identified himself as being bisexual. He confides in Nora about his inner turmoil, discussing his state of confusion. In response, Nora offers her perspective by revealing that Henry identifies as gay. Furthermore, Nora astutely observes that Alex's emotions appear to be directed toward Henry in a way that suggests he has developed feelings for him. During one of Henry's visits, Alex seizes the opportunity to share an intimate kiss with him, all the while being mindful of a watchful security guard nearby. This initial expression of affection paves the way for a more intense connection as they engage in sexual intimacy for the first time that night. In the aftermath, Alex designates their interaction as a friends with benefits arrangement, characterizing the nature of their involvement. Subsequently, Henry and Alex persist in arranging rendezvous for physical encounters whenever circumstances allow. 
Their interactions extend beyond the physical realm as they commence a playful exchange of flirtatious emails and engage in heartfelt conversations over the phone. However, the dynamic between them evolves as Alex's feelings begin to transform. This marks the beginning of Alex's journey towards developing stronger and more complex feelings for Henry. Given that Alex's mother is up for re-election and Henry is a member of the royal family, maintaining the secrecy of their relationship is of paramount importance. Alex frequently seeks counsel from his mentor and family friend, Senator Rafael Luna, to assist his mother's campaign efforts. However, things take a dramatic turn when Luna reveals he's running as the opposing candidate Jeffrey Richards' running mate. This revelation deeply affects Alex and his family. Henry arrives at the Democratic National Convention to offer support and comfort to Alex in the wake of this news. The following day, Zara, Ellen's chief of staff and a trusted family friend, stumbles upon Henry and Alex together. She agrees to keep their secret until after the convention. In a significant step, Alex comes out to his mother, who responds by creating a PowerPoint presentation to discuss the potential challenges of his relationship with Henry. While expressing her support, she also emphasizes the need for Alex to be absolutely certain about the longevity of their relationship. A retreat to the family's lake house becomes a pivotal moment. Alex, accompanied by Henry, June, Nora, and his father Oscar, comes out to his father as well. During an attempt to express his feelings for Henry, Henry's demeanor abruptly changes, and he distances himself from the conversation. The next morning, Henry departs the lake house without a farewell, leaving only a note. As Henry's communication dwindles, Alex experiences distress and ultimately flies to London to confront him. In London, Henry articulates his inability to continue the relationship due to his royal obligations. Despite this, their emotions lead them to be intimate. Uncertainty shrouds whether this encounter marks the end or the beginning of their relationship. Henry bestows his signet ring upon Alex and conveys his desire to be with him. Their connection remains strong, and they exchange passionate emails during their times apart. A poignant dance at the V&A Museum reaffirms their commitment to repairing and sustaining their relationship. Yet, the sense of security is short-lived, as challenges persist between the two of them. The private emails exchanged between Alex and Henry are exposed to the media, likely leaked by Miguel. Despite their strong desire to communicate, the two are prevented from doing so by their respective teams, especially since Alex is now back in the United States. A twist occurs during a televised interview where Miguel is questioned about his remarkable speed in reading 72 emails and promptly writing an article shortly after the leak. This line of inquiry strongly implies Miguel's involvement in the leak. In response to the situation, Alex takes the step of issuing a public statement addressing his relationship with Henry. Meanwhile, Henry's path leads him to Buckingham Palace, where he faces criticism from his brother Prince Philip and engages with advisors seeking to guide him through this crisis. Fortunately, the separation between Alex and Henry doesn't endure for too long. Unbeknownst to many, Zara and Henry's aide Sean have been involved romantically, leading them to keep phones for emergency communication purposes. This unforeseen connection allows Alex and Henry to reconnect and bridge the gap caused by the leak of their private correspondence. Alex and Henry finally engage in a conversation, during which Alex discloses his upcoming visit to London. Following a heartwarming day spent playing the piano together, the two of them, accompanied by B, make their way to Buckingham Palace for a meeting with King James III. In this meeting, King James openly acknowledges having read the emails exchanged between Henry and Alex. He expresses unwavering certainty that the two are in love. However, he emphasizes that Henry's foremost obligation is to the monarchy and his subjects, necessitating the maintenance of a conventional royal image. In response to Henry and Alex's inquiry about the rationale behind this requirement, King James contends that the British public may not readily accept a prince who identifies as homosexual. Interestingly, the situation takes a turn as a sizable crowd gathers outside Buckingham Palace. B informs the group that similar gatherings have formed in multiple cities including Birmingham, Manchester, Sheffield, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Liverpool. These gatherings are all in support of Prince Henry and Alex's relationship. 
This turn of events serves as a clear contradiction to King James' earlier assertion, undermining his argument. Henry challenges his grandfather's authority by refusing to hide in shame. King James urges Henry to seriously contemplate his decision, emphasizing that it's irreversible. In response, Henry expresses his hope that there won't be regrets. Accompanied by Alex, they venture out to acknowledge the cheering crowds. A week later, Henry and Alex find themselves in Washington, D.C., anxiously waiting for the results of the electoral vote. The outcome will determine whether Alex's mother, Ellen Claremont, will be re-elected as president. As the tension mounts, Henry and Alex share a private moment, during which Alex's nerves are apparent. However, their worries dissipate as news arrives that Ellen has secured victory in Texas, securing her presidency. Following the jubilant celebration, Alex inquires whether Henry still possesses the key to Alex's family residence in Texas. The closing scene of the film captures the duo's journey back to Texas and their arrival at Alex's home, symbolizing their shared future. Thank you for watching.